What if someone said to you, we think you've got what it takes to be a rock star? And what if that happened to be when you're at a real crossroads in your life? We specifically help veterans, and we tend to focus really on, on folks that can play an acoustical instrument, that can sing and, and songwrite. We have artists that also happen to be army snipers. <laughs> Rolling down the window, too scared to get out. It's fun to be part of that creative process. If we can help in some small way and a really good recording or a really good performance, that's pretty cool. Three years ago, if you would have told me that I was sitting here, I would have laughed at you. So I'm just going to play a sad song for my friend Eric. <laughs> Eric is one of my closest friends. We were both uh, just starting Air Force ROTC at Boston University. As we all progressed through ROTC, we just over time got real close. When we graduated, we ended up going to our first assignment together, Andrews Air Force Base, and living together as roommates. I play guitar, and during that time, I just started playing songs for the squadron. So I get a creative expression that allows you to just do something that is a different part of my brain. So fast forward uh, about 10 years, and we find ourselves in D.C. I was working on Capitol Hill, and Rob has been working in Air Force Legislative Affairs. So we were both really learning and understanding the laws around military and veterans issues. And one of the things that was frustrating and surprising to both, both of us was we constantly felt like nobody understood. The general narrative of what a veteran is, they think about people who maybe have experienced tragedy, people that are, are lost or experiencing loss, PTSD, depression, suicide. These negative attributes people miss the mark on. They're still courageous. Many of them are heroes. They're professionals. Rob and I really started to think more about how we could move the needle in that space. We pretty quickly came to the idea of music and veterans because Rob's a super talented musician and we could produce music that was in some way inspired by military service. It's helping to bridge that gap, that civil military divide that exists. And that's how we started Operation Encore, a veteran music project. The goals of Operation Encore is to provide direct support, opportunity, mentorship, and in some cases funding or production to talented military and veteran artists. So Scotty is one of those people. I was a infantryman with the U.S. Army. I went into the military thinking that it would be a career, and unfortunately, that didn't that didn't turn out as planned. So. In 2011, we were deployed to Afghanistan, and we were on patrol. And I walked in front of a guy who was basically just waiting for us to come by. He shot me ten times: five times in the shoulder, four times in the hip, and once in the thigh. I got bullet fragments all over my body. I had a collapsed lung. I'm missing a whole chunk out of my hip. I still have nerve damage in my arm. I have this sweet claw-like thing in my hand. And for the longest time, I didn't want to accept that it happened. But just over time, talking about it more and more has really helped me understand that I needed to do something else, that I needed a new purpose, a new thing to strive for, an escape. I would always have this guitar in the corner of my room, and I just one day decided, you know what, like, I'm gonna learn how to play this thing. And learning how to play the guitar became my new escape. When you have depression or PTSD, you suffer, and it's kind of very black and white. You see everything exactly how it was. Whereas with songwriting, I was able to be creative, and I was able to use my imagination. I was able to bring color back into my life. And it was, it was a godsend, honestly. Look inside. I went and got on an open mic. I was hooked. I knew that I needed to be on more stages. Immediately started reaching out to literally just about everywhere that I can think of to play. I jumped on Google because I wanted to find an organization that supported veterans and their music. And then uh, I found Operation Encore. So Scotty was one of those people that we could look at and say, not only do we think this person is talented and can really make it in this business, but there's somebody that we could help. Reaching out to Operation Encore was definitely a critical step in understanding that, okay, I might be able to do this.
We typically will help produce at least an EP that's been professionally recorded and, and mixed and, and published. In, in this case, Scotty being in Nashville at a time when we have other artists in Nashville and some connections there has been very helpful for him. In Nashville, it's all about who you know. The who you know can get you indoors. And now here I am here at Black River, an actual legitimate label in Nashville, Tennessee which is incredible. So the song, How Do You Choose, is about my best friend was killed in Afghanistan. And this idea of how does God make the decision that I'm here after getting shot 10 times and all these other people aren't. How do you choose who comes back home? Who goes under an old gravestone? With my music, I want to be able to connect with someone and help them. If what I went through can teach somebody something, or if what I went through can have someone look at them and be like, wow, man, like if he can do this, like I, 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 can, I can do anything. We definitely don't take credit for Scotty's success. We're, we're happy to be one of the many things that can make him successful. Tell me God. The artists, I think, are really happy that they found us and, and feel like they've, they've found a place that is surprising in the music industry because we don't ask for anything back in return. Their success, if it comes out in a really good recording or a really good performance, and I feel like I helped them in some way get to that point, I love that. That's at the core why I like this organization. With Operation Encore, there is a whole community of artists that are veterans. At the end of the day, they want to have camaraderie, that brother and sisterhood. It's building the community, the family. In 2020, I was just some dude learning how to play the guitar that wanted to write songs and uh, started writing songs and now here we are. We feel like it's not that we're giving a gift to them, we're giving a gift to the world, to be able to hear their music and, and hear their story and let people understand that veterans are just like everybody else.